She's been lost and taken, and now she's surviving a zombie apocalypse. Is your camera on? Is it on? No, it's off. Give it. Yeah, yeah, it's her. Holy shit. And what, in, in, in Dropside Baker? It's in the city, I think. Wow. They switch channels a lot, but... Caught their chatter a few times, and... Here with us this morning from the cast of Fear the Walking Dead, please welcome actress, producer, new mama, who's glowing like we can't even believe, Maggie Grace. Good morning, Maggie. Good morning. Good to see you guys. Uh, great to see you, too, because as you've heard, we gave you all the compliments earlier when we are testing the mic. But let's talk about your character, Al, because she has something in common with a lot of people in the studio right now because of her job. Oh, what's that? She's a journalist. Right. Oh, she's a journalist. Okay, I thought you, you, you meant fighting a virus every day. They keep going their way. <laughs> oh no! All right, so talk to us a bit about her, your character, and what she's on the trail of. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's been a real pleasure to play her. She's really capable, and uh, you know, has has a mission even within the context of the apocalypse. So it's it's been kind of a, a unique journey within that world, and. Uh, and I get to work with great people and do lots of awesome stunts and fight zombies every day. So it's it's been pretty wild. Um, and and now we're you know we're one of the few productions that's been able to come back and start shooting again. So that's that's really a privilege. Yeah, because you just said that you guys are back in Austin shooting, and we're into season six now. So how different is it now post pandemic for you guys? It's it's different. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of accommodations, and but luckily, I mean, I, I feel really blessed that the crew's been working together for so long, um, and they're such a hardworking crew. Um, so, you know, everyone's really a team player and, and knows each other pretty well, and I think there's a lot of a lot of trust there, which is really on our side um, in, in figuring out how to do this together. Um, but yeah, things are different for sure. If anything, I'm sure you guys are socially distancing from the zombies because you have to run, run away from them. <laughs> you know, you well, know you're always I mean? in social distance from a zombie. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good protocol just with zombies in general. Just, so. You know what I mean? So the first time I saw, like, Fear the Walking Dead, I was like, thank God, because I fear the Walking Dead. Just so you know. Like, <laughs> I can't take any scary stuff at all. So I know you're on the show. It's different when you're on there because you know who the zombies are. You're probably like, hey, Al, hey, hey whatever, you know, so you know them by name. So it's not really, but are you scared by yeah. stuff like this? I, I can't watch stuff like this. That's the, the irony of it all is I really don't watch a lot of violence, but I do love shooting our action sequences because like you say, you really hit the nail on the head. You know the stunt guys so well, and it's, it's really fun to work together in this kind of, almost like a ballet routine or something. You know, you have contact points and you know, you know, the order in which everyone's going to, going to go and going to hit. And it's really fun to do a, a long, long action take and, and finally get it right, you know, together. You're like one big organism. And then they add in all these, you know, brains and guts and posts. And you're like, oh, God, ay, ay, ay. what happened to our dance? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. So here's the coolest thing about your job, right? Because it's almost Halloween. If you're late to buying your costume, you can just go into oh. one of the zombies and steal their Halloween costume, zombie costume and be, be a zombie. Have you thought about that or did I just help you out? I mean, I wouldn't wish those prosthetics on anyone at a party. Like, you know, you're, you're not going to, not that anyone's really partying right now, but it'd be hard to have a cocktail or, you know, smooch anyone when you're in. All right. <laughs> I'm going to text you to get, maybe if I need a costume last minute, I'm going to text, just steal one from you. We'll return it without anyone oh, knowing. I'm Thank sure you. it'll be fine. I'm sure it will. <laughs> you're Maggie. You can make it happen. So speaking of making it happen, you're making things happen, not just in front of the camera, but behind the scenes. Because we just talked about how it's raining in Austin and it's raining in New York. And I said to you, the scent of rain and lightning. And you were like, ah, you're so smart. You didn't say that part, but I'm just saying it about myself. But you know, no, I, I said I, that, I right? I mean, puns are not for everyone, but... You do them well. <laughs> All right, so so are you going to be, we know you did the scent of uh, rain and lightning. Are you going to be doing more producing? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I'm, I'm keeping pretty busy right now. Um, but yeah, I think there should be some more pandemic era projects uh, coming soon. 
All right, so if you need any extras, don't ask our anchor Dan, because I know like in case you decide to do any more independent stuff that you have, don't, if, if you see the name Dan Manorino, just skip it. Yeah. Try that. Please. No, 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 no. You're gonna thank me later, Maggie. You're gonna thank Maggie. me later. Maggie. Nobody well, wants to be an extra on these shows. You think we do, and then it's, oh, it's no, Dan really does. tough under that I, Texas thing. If there was an it's Oscar for extras, Texas. he would be the Oscar for extras every single year. She say it's in Texas. Austin. But Maggie, thank you so much for joining us. We're, we're so happy for you watching you go from Lost to Taken and all that stuff. We thank you for entertaining us throughout the years. New episodes, episodes of Fear the Walking Dead airs on Sunday nights on AMC. See you Maggie. soon, Maggie, with my costume. Maggie, yeah. let me just say, oh. Maggie, I used to work in Dallas. She hung up. Maggie, you still there? <laughs> no, she's <laughs> not. Just Maggie a voice. Gone. I, just a voice. Maggie, oh. I, was, I was only in Texas for 40 days. It was a uh -oh. long 40 days, but if you need me, I will, yeah. Austin is just a hop. And Maggie, and my, my best friend in the world is Ian Goldberg, who's the showrunner of Fear Walking Dead, said we could be zombies That's anytime incredible. we want, so we have an <gasps> in. Amazing. We could all be zombies. Only only I Ben can it. be in. No, we're all going to be zombies together. Maggie, clearly we have no shame. <laughs> this is you guys. Tell Ian we said hi. I have zombie I body. Will. Awesome. Yes. Oh, she's so nice. She